So this was a surprisingly awesome combo, that I have decided to tackle it first before the Easy Axe C and Neo Relic farm. This is a combo between my Queen of Endurance runs, Ivara, and the new godly weapon, Redeemer Prime. I know what you are thinking, what the hell, another Redeemer Prime video. Well, you can't blame me as this weapon is really good and, there are a lot of amazing synergy that you can use for this new gun blade and, this is just one of them, not just fun but when done correctly, it can melt everything that stands in your way. I know you are eager to know how good, and how to build this combo, so let's cut all that bloody crap talk, and proceed to the build section. But before anything else, I would just like to say that the build you will be seeing on my Ivara is personal preference and, you can replace any mods that you don't like on it, so, here it is. Here's how I build my Ivara for this synergy, so basically, this build focuses mainly on your prowl ability, it has both duration and efficiency, to minimize its energy consumption, and as well as minimize the steal time. Now, I added both transient fortitude and power drift on the mix, so I can negate the negative power strength of overextended, and get that 100% extra loot from my prowl ability. I also added infiltrate, so I can move faster while on prowl, but this mod is a personal choice and you can replace it with either a duration or range mod, depending on your preference. You might wonder, why I put enemy radar on the Aura slot, when Ivara has this innate enemy sense passive, it's because her passive is only 20 meters, and I want to stack that passive with enemy radar, plus my animal instinct mod I have on my companion, in this way, I will have no problem in locating enemies, and as well as enemy spawn in endurance runs, especially in solo plays. Lastly, this build might be focused first on Prowl but, this doesn't mean that you can't utilize her other abilities, in fact, this mod setup is also good for her quiver ability, which is pretty handy in increasing the damage dealt of this combo and, we will talk about that later, for now, let's proceed on how I mod my Redeemer Prime. If you have paid attention to the background on my introduction, then you might have noticed, that I was packing a radiation and viral combination on my Redeemer Prime, that element combo is good and can take down even 300 plus units but the problem is, I have to use pox to strip away high level units with lots of armor, before I can kill them with my redeemer prime, it's doable but would take a lot of effort, especially if you are facing a number of heavily armored units, so instead of a viral and radiation setup, try a gas build, by the way, if you have a riven, then it would probably be good to have a toxin element, and status chance stat on it, so we can both maximize the gas damage, and as well as achieve 100% status chance. But if you don't have Riven, then just try this magnetic gas combination. I know what you are thinking, but squad leader, this is a pretty dumb move, as gas is weak against heavily armored units. This is where the Avara and Redeemer Prime combo comes to play, when your prowl is active, and then you use your sleep arrow on your enemy, then hit them with a gas Redeemer Prime, my god, who even needs stripping armor? The best part is, gunshots coming from your gun blade doesn't break your prowl. Not only that you can be safe and stay hidden, but you can also just gun down those pesky nullifier units with this weapon. Not to mention that it also melt almost every enemies. It's a pretty powerful combo that you must try right now if you have the necessary components. So that's it. I hope that you find this video informative. Like always. Please do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video and, you can subscribe on our YouTube channel and get to see more informative Warframe videos. Just don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss an update. Lastly, you can join our Discord server, and chat with thousands of members of Team Grind. And also, you can follow your squad leader on Twitter if you want. All links are on the video description below. Be sure to check out my solo axe C and Neo Relic farm next. Thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.